Joining us now on set, Kyle Collinsworth, BYU basketball star, guard extraordinaire. What else should we throw in there, Kyle? Whatever you want. <laughs> Give it up for Kyle Collinsworth. Kyle Collinsworth is here, everybody. We should congratulate you, first of all, on uh, surviving an NBA. Well, did you, did you have to do the NBA conditioning test yesterday with the rest of your teammates? Uh, I didn't have to. I've done it, though. Okay. So it's, it's pretty intense. What are they going through? Um, it's, it's a lot of, it's a struggle mentally because you have to run down and back is one. You have to do that five times and then you get a two minute break and you have to do four total. And for each position, so for a point guard position, you have to run it in 61 seconds each time. So if on the first one you get 58, then you can bank three seconds, but you have to get 61. Okay. So the big boys get more time? Yeah. They is that fair? Honestly, I don't, I don't think it is. <laughs> How did Nate Austin do? That's the real question. I want to know. He passed. That's all I of know. Of course he did. <laughs> so. He passed. Yeah. We, we have to ask because everyone's always wondering, but how's the knee going? How's the rehab? It's going perfectly right where I need to be, and I'll be ready for the start of the season. So for the I'm start excited. of the season? I'm excited, yeah. That's do the plan. Do you plan on being 100% at the start of the season, or are you going to ease into – like, would you play in the Cougar tip-off, the exhibitions, that kind of thing? Uh, probably not those games, but I plan on being 100% as far as being able to play, but I might take a little bit to mm -hmm. get adjusted and stuff. But, you know, that's the plan, but I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to force it. But as of right now and where things are looking, it, it seems like I'll be ready. For nice it. work. Clearly the physical rehab is, is trying, taxing. But what is it like mentally to know – that you face this this long road back, and and how have you grown as you've dealt with this injury? I've grown a lot because I just have to have a positive mindset. Because I started out not being able to walk and just sitting on the couch and just raising my leg. Then I started out being able to walk. Then I started out shooting, and then just step by step. So it's been a it's taught me a can-do mindset and just like focusing on the can-do instead of the can'ts through the whole process. And that's helped me a lot. I just focus on what I can do all the time and do it the best I can. And that's taught me a lot in life, just having a positive attitude and focusing on what we can do instead of what we can't all the time. A video came out where uh, it kind of talked about your rehab and what you've gone through. And you, you pointed at a sign uh, of a picture of the team in Milwaukee and said, that's my motivation. You know, I wasn't there. Yeah. Um, I thought that was a powerful moment in that video of, you know what, we're going to go back to the tournament and I'm going to be there. I, I, I like that. Absolutely. We're going to go back and I will be there and I will be on that picture. So I'm excited for that. 17 players on the roster currently. Uh, that's, uh, that's a lot of guys, a lot of guys that can play. What has it been like at, you know, playing uh, pickup games and, and just uh, off-season conditioning stuff with that many guys on the team? It's been a little bit different, but this is the first week since we've all been together in kind of like a team setting. So I think we're all just getting used to it. And But so far, so good. Yesterday, I uh, just want to mention this. Nick Emery uh, <laughs> tweeted the following. I know there are some questions about would he play this year. Um, he said, another year and I'll be playing. Excited to watch these boys this year. So it sounds like the plan is to get him healthy and then bring him in next year. But what's it been like to see Nick Emery uh, just around as he tries to get healthy for next season? Yeah, I saw him yesterday. He came and watched us play open gym, and I just wish him the best with his surgeries, and I hope everything goes well and he can prepare to play next year. That's probably something you can relate to, at least to a degree, right, having just barely sat out for a number of games and, and missed the NCAA tournament. Um, so at some point, do you have that conversation with Nick or maybe some of the other guys that go through injuries? Does that help you as a team leader? <coughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, when someone gets hurt, I can just sit them aside and just tell them to focus on what they can do and be positive and be confident that they can return back and play. So your team's all back together now. What is the activity of choice when you all get together? Is there like a go-to for BYU basketball? Uh, usually just give Chase Fisher a microphone and just listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just like to hang out, whatever's going on. Like, we'll probably go to the volleyball game tonight. We just like to hang out, go eat. We usually go eat somewhere, so... Eric Mika brought so much to the table, a lot of personality. How do you possibly replace that with this year's team, let alone what he did on the court? Yeah. Well, he's, it's hard to replace, and I don't think you can replace Eric, but we have great guys coming back. We have uh, Corbin Kafusi, who's really, really athletic, and he's developing really well, and with time, I think he can be a, an awesome player for us. Okay, to take, us, take us there a little bit, because all of a sudden it's like, okay, he's on the football team, and then all of a sudden it's like, wait, is he on the basketball team? Oh, wait, he's not playing football anymore? 
Describe his game and kind of what he did to maybe earn a walk-on spot. Well, he came and played with us, and he blocked shots, he got rebounds, and he dunked on people. He dunked on people. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it. Yeah, so I, if you're wondering how to make the BYU basketball team, <laughs> that, that, that is, is right it. There. That's that it. is all you have to do. <laughs> Those three things, and you're Blo- good. Block shots, get rebounds, and dunk on people. But, yeah. Like, is he, is he like, oh, that's cool kind of story, like you're on the team, or is he like he's going to play major minutes and contribute this year? Major minutes, I think. Wow. Why do you feel like he can come in right now off of a mission and contribute? Because that's, that's difficult to do. I mean, you've gone through that process yourself. Why do you feel like Corbin can, can break the mold and, and do that for your team? I just, just watch him play because I obviously can't play right now in open gym. I just see that his body is, from being off a mission, he's ahead of where, where I was physically. You know, he runs well. He's in good shape. And he's just very explosive for coming off a mission. And I see that in a few months he'll be even more explosive. So I just feel like we haven't had a guy like him in a while. Probably Trent Placid was the last guy, a big guy that can run the floor and really, you know, jump and contest shots. And so he's really good. During your rehab, what have you been able to work on and improve in your game? Shooting. I shoot all the time, twice a day. All aspects of shooting? Yeah. Jump shots, foul shots, all that? Shoot in the morning and right before they play open gym. So I just shoot and shoot and shoot. <laughs> How many shots a day are we talking here on average? Do you I have make a goal? O- I make over 500. You mm-hmm. make over 500. Yeah, it usually ranges from 500 to 600, depending on you know the drills and stuff. So are when, you ready? Wh- to, are you ready to take on Tyler Haas and say, "Look, I'm going to be the best free throw shooter on the team." I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, by the way, uh, named by Lindy's Magazine, uh, which will come out soon, the number one shooting guard in America. That's fantastic, Tyler well, Haas. What does that mean to for the team to have that honor for him? First off, well deserves. He works super hard. He's an awesome, awesome guy, and it just means a lot, you know. To have, say we have the number one shooting guard in the country kind of puts a name for us and he's a great guy and he deserves it he's gonna have a great year how much credit is owed to you for tyler haas being the best shooting guard because clearly you're the guy that has to distribute the ball right and then some of this credit goes to kyle Collins, right <laughs> no it's all to him he makes it so. no you're supposed to say yes at least <laughs> half kyle maybe a little bit <laughs> with kyle anderson of ucla gone are you the best tall point guard in the country yeah there you go there's the confidence Nailed it. that's I like. all i needed yes <laughs> Yes. If you missed, if, okay, if, so, if someone has not seen you play, let's say you're talking to someone that is asking you about your game that has never seen Kyle Collinsworth play a game, what do you do as a basketball player on the court? I'd say kind of like a do-it-all guy. I can do a lot of different things that, especially for my position, most guys can't do. So I just like to do it all and just, just play my game and play with a lot of energy and high IQ. So. Last year, the music videos made a huge splash, the, uh, the lip dubs. I think people loved them. Uh, they made noise nationally. How could you possibly top that in this next year? I don't know. I wish That's them the not best good of news. luck. Yeah, whatever they have in store. <laughs> the athletic marketing. I yeah. saw some kind of puppet with Tyler Hawes. Is that in the works? Or yeah, what, I heard what are we talking about? I like Lil Penny I with think, Anthony Hardaway in the 90s. Yeah, I think I have one and Anson has one done so far, so puppets. So well, we'll then. See. Have, that, you, have you seen it? I have not seen it. What's so. the name of the little guy? I don't know. <laughs> L- Lil Kyle? I'm going to have to sleep on it. <laughs> okay. Come up with something. <laughs> what are your aspirations this year as, as a team? I know you want to get back to the NCAA tournament. You want to win you know, 20-something odd, odd games, win the West Coast Conference title. Did you title. just steal all the answers? I don't know, but I'm, I'm saying what is, what is the ultimate goal? What's the ultimate goal for BYU basketball this year? Well, I was talking with Ty my freshman year. We made it to the Sweet 16, and we want to take that one step further and make it to the Elite Eight. And it's going to take a team effort. We're going to have to have better team chemistry this year, and we're going to have to have more of a defensive mindset, you know, because in the tournament, if you play bad offensively, you got to play D. You got to play D. Yeah. So it just takes one game where if you're not hitting shots and if you don't have a defensive mindset <coughs> to get stops, you're going to lose. So. How do you get better defensively? And specifically, it's probably to be able to play man-to-man defense. Is that what you're getting at? Yeah, and I think it's more of a – defense is more of a mindset. We have to get all 17 guys committed to play defense together as a team. And if we can commit to that and have that mindset, then that's the first step. And I feel like we can develop into a good defensive team. So we counted down to Connecticut for BYU football since January 2nd last year. It was 238 days. Every day on the show we'd count down to <laughs> acknowledge that number. 
Now we're looking for something else to count down to. Is the natural progression basketball tip-off? I think so. I'm counting down. Do you know the number? I don't. I know Tasha Lynn knows the number. Go ahead and yell the number. 54. 54. 54 days away. Chris Miles Day. <laughs> 54 days away from Long Beach State in Provo. Kyle, it's great to have you on the set and to see your recovery going so well. We wish you the That's best awesome. as uh, you continue along that path. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Kyle Collinsworth, everybody. He's, he he's getting healthy.